public hearing on House Bill 494 and call the prime sponsor, Representative Edwards. Thank you, Madam Chair. The liquid uh, that you get from Canada, uh, is that being shipped down to you or you buy that locally or? The, the, the milk? No. Uh, it, I buy it at Hanford. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Are there any other questions? Um, I just have a, a question. You had mentioned um, that the President had signed um, a law, the Farm Act, in which you talked about the um, that hemp shouldn't be designated, or industrial hemp. Exactly right. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you know, was that this year? Or that was, was 2014. That was 2014. Okay. Thank you. Again, are there any further questions? Seeing none, thank you very much, Representative. Thank you. The Chair will call Representative Cushing. Yes. Good morning, Good Representative. Good morning, Madam Chair. Members of the Committee, for the record, I want to represent Reddy Cushing uh, from Rockingham District 21 and I'm um, here to speak uh, in support of the bill. Uh, I think in some ways I thought this should be called the um, Derek Owen and Tim Robertson bill because I know in the 1980s, uh, particularly Derek was the one that first explained what hemp was in industrial hemp. I know that this is a topic that's been studied a lot by the legislature it's the past couple of years. It's, I know it's passed the um, House, I know the Senate last year had a study committee and came up with some recommendations the bill um, to enable, to recommend a bill that would enable UNH to do a, a pilot project. Um, and I believe that the legislation is moving somewhere through the House uh, or through the legislature on that. Um, I support this bill because it simply removes from the list of uh, controlled substances industrial hemp. And it just makes a lot of sense to me that we do that. And with that, I saw Derek last summer. And we wanted to know when they were going to finally pass the legalized hemp, but I said, I don't know, but if I'm reelected, I'll, I'll, I'll join in on it this time. And so I'm kind of signed up on the bill for, for him. Hey, thank, thank you very much for your testimony, Representative. Are there any questions? Senator Daniels. Yes. Um, does industrial hemp have THC in it? I believe it has a trace amount of THC. I'm not, but it's not. Uh, I don't believe it is significant enough to impair one if it's ingested. Yes, uh, uh, do, do you know what the uh, the difference is in percentage between industrial hemp and marijuana? I don't off the top of my head. No, I, I, I presume that someone will follow the committee. It's more knowledgeable. Okay, Senator Pitalo. Thank you. Where can you buy the seeds for 
for hemp to be grown. <coughs> but I do not need to buy hemp products. My niece gave me some hemp tea one time. She sat down and told me. That was, I, I don't consume it. I don't know much about it. Thanks. Are there any further questions? Seeing none, thank you very much, Representative. The Chair will call Representative Mike Silva. Good morning, Representative. Good morning. For the record, I'm Representative Mike Sylvia from Belknap, District 6, town of Belmont. I'm here today in support of this bill on industrial hemp. And I think it's a good bill and it will be very supportive of our economy. And this is a big issue. Um, people are very much interested in local foods and producing locally, and particularly with hemp, as I understand it, and I'm not an expert, <coughs> the, uh, the plant can be grown, because it's you know, known as weed, it can be grown without pesticides, so you get a much more natural product, and it's, it would be good, it'd be good grain feed for um, animals. It's better than, say, soy, which has uh, some properties to it to, related to estrogen, I think, that they cause problems with some people, uh, allergies and such. And people actually even uh, can have problems with eggs that are produced from uh, soy-based feeds. So this would be a good product for uh, New Hampshire, great for the economy. And I think those are the, the, the great benefits. Uh, Canada has been producing uh, hemp for Quite, quite some time. In fact, I guess we probably end up importing uh, most of the products that we get from certainly outside of the United States and a lot of it from Canada. So I think uh, this is a great uh, economic boost and uh, criminal justice, I believe, passed it uh, unanimously and uh, it went through uh, the House on the Consent Council. So I, I see no reason to uh, slow this bill down. Thank you very much for your testimony, Representative Sylvia. Are there any questions from the committee? Seeing none, thank you very thank much. You. Uh, the chair will call uh, Kevin Blue. Thank you, Madam Chair, members of the committee. My name is Kevin Blue. I'm representing the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance. And in answer to Senator Daniels' question, I believe that's two one hundredths of one percent is the generally accepted. Uh, amount of THC allowable for industrial hemp. And I can check that out and make sure that's true and get back to you on it. <clears throat> Currently, the United States is the world's largest consumer of industrial hemp products. However, none of it is actually grown here. It comes from China, and it also comes from Canada. And now, since last year, <coughs> Chile has <laughs> just started uh, industrial hemp cultivation. The reason that's important for, uh, for us here in New Hampshire is that Chile support, um, sends most of the vegetables and the, the grapes and the fruit and stuff that you get in the stores because it's counter to us in terms of seasons. So uh, when it's, it's summertime down there, when it's wintertime up here. And that means we're gonna, that we're going to see a lot more industrial hemp coming in from there. Um, the products are, are pretty widespread. There's really, it's the plant was cultivated in New Hampshire as early as the 1660s. Uh, it was real popular. In fact, uh, one thing the British did as soon as the colonists declared a revolution, the British made the cultivation of hemp illegal because we used it for sails and rope and stuff, and they didn't like that. <laughs> so long history. In fact, um, while the Crown was our friend, they actually paid farmers to grow hemp in New Hampshire. So we have a long history uh, with the plant, and of course it's, it was legal for a very long time. It actually, uh, it, it had a very strange history on industrial hemp. It never was really illegal. Both the single treaty on narcotics that passed the UN, to which uh, this country is a signatory, and uh, every other piece of legislation uh, that um, a treaty that dealt with um, the cannabis product or the it's a, a sort of a variety. It's a, it's a variety of the plant, but it's not the same thing. Just as uh, to explain a little bit further, there are over 600 varieties of poppies. Only one of them uh, contains a narcotic. So there's a lot of poppies around, but you can smoke the poppies. That doesn't do you any good. Um, <clears throat> so essentially, we'd like to, to keep any mistakes from being made and uh, just to uh, make it clear that although 
you could technically grow industrial hemp at all times in the United States as long as you had a permit. It's never been, strictly speaking, illegal. However, uh, they put it under the DEA, and the DEA has steadfastly refused to issue permits. So that was why the president included industrial hemp in the law last year. Oh, and incidentally, um, Vermont was inspired by our law uh, from last session, and they passed it. So. Thank you very much for your testimony this morning, Mr. Bloom. Are there any questions? Senator Lasky. Thank you, Madam Chair. Good morning. Good morning. Um, you, you alluded to something that I was going to ask. Um, I seem to remember that testimony we've had in the past that exactly what you said, that hemp is not the strain of the plant or the variety of the plant that would, one would smoke. Correct. So my question is, well, number one, is that that is correct? Yes. And number two, are you ever going to, with that minute amount of um, THC yes. in, the, um, in the plant, so you're never going to be able to no, from it has now. absolutely no. Would that would be called, well, that would be technically a medicinal use, and no, it's absolutely useless for that. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any further questions? Seeing none, thank, thank you very much for your testimony this morning, Mr. Blue. Are there any other members of the public that would like to speak to House Bill 494? Seeing none, we're going to go ahead and close the public hearing. <coughs>